Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Welcome back to Ayutthaya in EU4. We are the white elephant. We're working on it at least. Uh, but uh, there's not really any rush because we have plenty of stuff to do. So hey, look at that. We got Bangkok. As uh, goods produced increased. So that's pretty good. And it looks like... Oh ho, 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 my goodness. Nut, nut, nut. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's do it. Get some free money here. And... Um, since we are working on um, upgrading this one already, well, I'm going to start this one as well. Just because uh, it's definitely in my best interest. Get a little bit of money from these guys eventually. Hey, how about that? <laughs> oh, we're so rich from our allies. Our allies are giving us all their money. <laughs> Maybe it needs... <laughs> uh Maybe it needs nerfed a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I'll lose an admin point. That's fine. Uh, 750. And there you go. This one's on its way to level 3. Take a look at how cheap this guy is. Level 3 for 1.2 ducats per month. He is a full-priced advisor, by the way. Full-priced, by the way. How much did that cost? That's pretty expensive. Um, As far as what we need here, our next idea group... We don't really need a mill group. I think I would rather go with like a. Um. We already have influence, but maybe we we're playing quite a Diplo game. How's Diplo an innovative look? No way. More advice. Okay, we're going Diplo. I don't even care. We don't need a mill idea group. We're doing fine. I'll take the innovativeness, please, and thank you. Let's switch you guys back over to trade power and turn you guys off. Save us some money. We're making so much money because our advisors are so cheap. You guys got more money for me? They don't have it. They will soon, though. Soon. Upgrading these, um, these monuments is going to... Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. Plus three Diplo rep and two Diplo relations as well. That is insane. So I think I need to get some spy network down here on these guys. He's not a uh, tributary of Ming, so we can basically just, you know, annex him. I can't rival him, which is unfortunate. Can I pop my golden arrow? No, we annex our vassals. All right, so we have inheritance. I don't know this one. A conflict has arisen in one of the more influential monasteries of Aitai after the death of a monk who came from a very influential lay family. Oh, okay, so this is just... Karma for money, though. Eh, I need my karma. What's our Diplo rep? There's no way. Our Diplo rep is seven. It's actually ten. It's actually ten. <laughs> That's disgusting. That is so overpowered. Um, so I suppose we need to annex these guys. Let's uh, come here, my pretties. AE impact reduction. I like that. Hopefully he'll handle that himself. And I will go back to currying favors you. I don't care. They will trend upwards back up to 73. So... No big deal for me. Oh yeah, we are so solid right now. Get a claim or two. I didn't take the claims border in claim, so I can't get a claim on his capital. But it uh, looks like I pillaged his capital enough that it's actually not super useful, which is good for us. Yep, those guys will handle that. Death to spies, huh? Oh, wow, these guys got big. I remember these guys from the old uh, the old patches because they had the gold mine. Which is still here. Used to be, like, right around this area, I think. Eh, maybe it was up here. I don't remember. They uh, remade Sumatra because it used to not have this wasteland in the middle. Yes, please. I like the defensiveness. Defensiveness is fun. Let's have my armies continue to drill, though. We don't need the firearms. 
So, is there a benefit to clicking this now? That was from a mission we wanted this, right? The Emerald Buddha. So basically it removes it from the province and gives it to us globally then? But I spend some money. That's weird, actually. That's super weird. Anyways, um... I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna spend some money on this. You guys have more money for me? They do not. These guys do not as well. They're actually in debt. Okay. That's fine. So I'm hopeful that the... Yeah, here we go. My Vassal Swarm will head over there. He's got 27 dev in his capital, so you best believe we're gonna be doing a little bit of pillaging. So here's the point of the game where you can kind of like say, well, maybe I should move my capital here. Moving your capital, that way you can get more dev from one province. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I don't really need to because... What is my choice of these guys? 15. So we got some time to worry about it. How long do I have for that? 16 months? I won't have enough spy network in time to uh, get it on him. Look at that, man. So let's give this all to Malacca, that whole state. So that's going to all go to Malacca. And uh, as soon as these guys uh, finish conquesting this, I will piece these guys out as well. So we really, hmm. here's the issue. I can't attack these guys because I, I don't have enough war score to full um, vassalize them. Take that province? Nope, it's not Vietnamese. Thought it was. No, what? No. Oh, okay, I got scared. Click that one there. I'm gonna wait until this anchor watt finishes before I take any tech. They don't have more they don't have the money. They can't afford it. My allies are a bunch of broke boys. Don't got no money. Let's see if I can steal a couple of his galleys here. Here you guys go. Give him a blockade as well. Help him out. Are they still... Yeah, still none of them need, need upgraded. Hmm. I'll take the admin mana. I, I know I want the cash, but... Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. Age of Reformation is kind of worthless if you're outside of Europe. Come on, man. We had a siege. Damn. Hey. Oh, I maxed out on mill mana now. Sadly. Okay. Anyways. Let's see here. This is a good state. Dev you up. Dev you up, dev you up. There you go. Same thing here. And same thing here. we go not bad let's finish you up and then get working on the second upgrade here ASAP did I have yet divided what so how does that work then <gasps> well that's well damn Well, that is about perfect. Well, hot dog, let's do it. I have no truce with either of them either. These guys are a tributary. Oh, how funny is that? 
All right. Well, that's awesome. So let's get you guys over there and get you guys over here. Each with your own general. These guys, I will recruit another general, have them drilling. These guys were waiting on his capital to get siege down. I need the karma. And meanwhile, I'm still trying to get money from these guys as they... Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I just like giggle to myself every time I yoink some money from my allies, man. It just is so like sneaky. It's so sneaky. I'm just stealing all their money. All right, let's pull you guys back in over here. You lads down here are going to have your capital pillage, six development, not bad. Give me your war ups and all your money. That right there will allow me to start the next upgrade tier for the anchor watt. And then you guys are also going to give me all your money while getting full annexed by him. Very good. Let us improve relations with these guys for a bit. It's going to take some time before we can piece these guys out. So no rush. These guys are going to be my vassal. When will this be done here? November. Best month of the year. I know this for a fact. Legends were born in November. If you're a legend that was born in November, let me know. Say it louder for the people in the back. There we go. Get those guys out of there. Where are you guys going, huh? Definitely need more cannons. Oh no, my waifu died. <gasps> I cry every time. She must have been pretty young too. I don't care about losing five admin mana. It's not even a full month's worth of mana. These guys will be my vassal. These guys are maxed out, really. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. So these guys will now be a vassal. They will also give me all their money, because why not? Are we upgraded all the way here? Not quite. Soon. So we'll be able to click this button, and then we'll be able to click this button twice. So before we even take tech, we'll be able to get another 5% discount. Permanent. This is permanent, too. Monthly karma is nice as well, because we definitely need our karma to go up, because, yeah, we got a lot of people that are pretty upset with us. So, in the meantime, since he's going to be upset, I might as well yoink his development. Uh, oh my gosh. Ugh. That's so good. It's so good. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, he's going to be upset for a while, but in the meantime, I'm going to get these guys loyal. That way I can annex them. <laughs> I'm going to continue to uh, push through for this. Who are you? Coach? Where are you? Bro. What? Get out of here. Don't waste my time. These guys are now... So here's my thing. Yeah, aggressive expansion may allow it. Bengal would join, huh? Let's see here. Can I get more money from you, Laz? Nope. You? I can. Let's do it. Give more money, please. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And in the meantime, we want to improve relations with these guys. I will take the karma. We need to get our karma up so we can integrate our vassals faster. So the relation improvement is still going. These guys are not even super disloyal. They just like are really upset about me, you know, pillaging their lands. Understandable, to be honest with you. I, I cannot be too surprised about it. These guys are done with these cores by now. Mostly done. Now I'll just integrate them. I don't care. Unless... Religious espionage. Yeah, it's not super useful. I'd rather just va annex them. Continue drilling. These guys here. Click this button one more time. It will be done here in June of next year. Which is going to be the perfect time. You know what? I will lose the karma. I will take that. I will finish that. 
And that will allow me to take this early. It's not ideal because karma is clearly an issue for us. But um, taking tech right on time for how much? What was this here? Oh, uh, 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 yep, that's pretty good. Look at all this mana we have left over, man. So much mana left over. So I need to save a province for the printing press. Oh, right here. This one will do. So in the meantime, let's do some dev over here. If you're going to do it, you might as well do your admin dev last because it's the one that gives you the lowest return on investment. There we go. I spent all my di Diplo dev right after I said I was going to take a Diplo idea. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So let's do this. Recall you. Let's Royal marry you. Let's begin the annexation process on you. Should go pretty quickly. Very good. And um, upgrade our units there. go one more month here recall you give me your money please he does not have more neither does he so we go back up to the top here and curry more favors eventually i will take the karma please you want to keep your relations nice and high with them as well because it actually gives you more bengal is calling me in in for a just a I assume this is a humiliate war. Oh yeah, it's a blockade. It's a trade trade war. That's fine. Let's get an admiral over there. Is this inland seas? It's not, sadly. This is inland seas. This is not. This is fine though. This is giving me some more tra tra um, favors with him. 44%. Oh yeah. These blockades are going to be really good for us. Are these guys allied to each other? They are. Let's go. That's a nice little power block we've got here, huh? This is giving me way more favors with him too. Yeah, so here's the issue, though. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. Ming has no mandate, though. I don't know, man. This could be my chance. This could totally be my chance. Scorch a couple of these provinces over here in the jungle. Let's do it. Let's let's not let our dreams be dreams. Let's attack the Ming. Because you guys know what that means then, right? Time to make our withdrawal. Start this upgrade. 15. Oh. 15% tech cost is so good. Though, we should probably get a better uh, military advisor. We could certainly use... I guess morale will do fine. Let us attack these guys with tribute with the subjugation CB. Oh, reconquest, actually. Yeah, let's do reconquest instead. Uh, let's go for, like, Haifeng. Ming will join. I don't care. I kind of want them to, actually. Put these guys up here and have these guys head up here the best case scenario would be i like sneak up sneak a fort from him like a defensive fort and then he just sends a bunch of his men in oh i got a coalition forming huh oh no it's gonna be like a, a couple of people over here that i don't care about so i definitely need to get my my navy over there i do not care about this war anymore ming has how many ships 19 galleys they will not stand a chance they will get wiped so it looks like I really do just have the best that I have right now. Yeah, these guys are going to join the coalition. I don't care. They're not going to attack me. I know for a fact they won't attack me. But yeah, I got a decent bit of war score from that. That's going to get me lots more favors from him. And you can't get more favors while you're at war. Or you can't use your favors while at war. Six heavies. My man. Ming not screwing around. Speaking of, I should probably have a couple of these guys here, but six heavies, really. 
I actually don't know about that. I'm going to come over here and wipe out his friends first. Oh, just like, just kidding. He attacked me. Oh, just kidding. We're, uh, we're demolishing him. We're losing a couple of our galleys, but he's, uh, our general died. Unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate, actually. He's attacking me with no general, so it's actually not that big of a deal. So we, we lost nine ships to his 12, so definitely in our best interest. I'm going to keep on stacking galleys. No reason not to. We'll even get a few extras in here. Why not? So yeah, hopefully this battle isn't too bad for us. They have really low mandate. It is going up. But uh, what that means is that they're going to be taking very significant increased losses. Look at that. They're, they're receiving 37.7% more damage uh, while also having national unrest and manpower modifiers. So like I have the same amount of manpower as him, but take a look at this. His is going to go down and mine won't. <laughs> Let's get these guys over there. There's no point in having both of the cans there. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'll spend the money for the karma. So with this guy being upgraded, our advisor costs are now 25% minus 25% total. Look at that. They're so cheap. This is insane. Actual madness, man. Literally just insane. I should probably get some, some spy network on here as well. And if we... Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to... Click that. Does the Ming get... So I wouldn't be getting any extra from the Ming. Speaking of, I also need to switch this over here to maximize. This gives you a little bit of extra trade. I have a vassal that is disloyal, which I knew about. I think we can recall you. And if we improve our relations with him, it'll certainly get better. And this will be good because now we can devastate the crap out of the Ming. We can, you know... Speaking of, we're so far ahead on tech. There's no reason to not do this. Scorch the earth. Because what it does is it increases the devastation and decreases the amount of monthly heat, uh, stuff he gets. And then looting. You'll want to loot as many of the provinces as you possibly can as well. Wedge throw will be removed. What is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll never say no to free money. I will say this is kind of bogus, but I can't win a siege, but you know, it is what it is. Columbagon is raiding me because they're sons of guns. It is what it is. Yeah, PJ is going to peace out soon. There's no reason for them to be in the war. Bro. This is dumb. Like, they're not going to win that. They're going to... Yeah, that's really dumb that they're doing that. There's no reason for them to attack me there. <laughs> okay. Scorch. Scorch and loot for a couple ticks. Uh, can I get these guys up there before the monthly tick? What about you guys here? No, I cannot. That's fine. So basically, I just want to devastate the crap out of these guys and uh, make sure that they have no mandate ever for the rest of the game. That's kind of my goal there. Scorch it. You can see it was at point, point one one, And uh, sadly, you know, as soon as the war is over, they're going to get some benefits back. But... Um, like this is highlands you scorch it loot it one more time because you know when you're looting you actually devastate lands pretty heavy i think it's like two percent oh five percent oh uh, yeah okay that's pretty good so these guys will come over here these guys will, let's split those guys and have them come up here these guys come over here and this is highland so it's like if they want to come in here they can i scorched it so we'll be quick to reinforce and look at this like his mandate is just going to keep on tanking very quickly there you go so see for example here he's got thirty-five thousand heading in there they'll be there on the 9th oh of july yeah so as long as i'm there before the 9th of july doesn't really matter right and then we have our rest of our boys heading let's wait for the monthly tick there get the extra looting and there you go they have a 36 stack that is attacking me in the highlands, so they get a minus two because I assume there's a river crossing there. And uh, yeah, they're reinforcing, but I will also reinforce. And uh, remember, they're receiving a ton more damage, so, you know. Those guys will be here on the 18th. I will come down and attack them. Shift consolidate as well. Make sure that my front row is as full as possible. My morale is not super good compared to his. 
but uh, I'm not too too bothered by it. If our karma was just slightly higher, it would uh, it would work out fine for us. Yikes! That's a big old Ming stack there. I scorched that province there, so they're gonna be a little slower to reinforce there. Yeah, this is not ideal, but uh, I'm probably gonna end up having to flee from this. Their casualties are crazy, but mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, we're gonna flee. That's unfortunate, but you know, look at that. Look how many men they lost. I've I need twenty thousand to reinforce, but they're already below me now. You know, so it's like this war is fine. We're gonna make a big, 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 big withdrawal from the Bank of Ming. You guys know how I feel about the Bank of Ming. So if you guys are excited and you want to see us make our withdrawal from the Bank of Ming, make sure that you leave a like on the video, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. And if you want to support us like a true legend, we do have a Patreon linked in the description with our uh, Discord. There's also merch. People have been picking up on the merch and. Uh, if you guys get some merch, make sure you send me a picture so I can give you a quick shout out because I appreciate people who support me. Um, if you want to join the Discord or check me out on Twitter, those are linked in the description as well. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I would like to give a big special thanks to my top supporters for the month of April. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Bloodbound, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Sprocket, Ian, M. Dressel, Tharp, Blonde Damon, Gabriel Court, Corbett, Chankapotamus, T. Jarden, Barking Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Amorado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate you guys very much.